Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this Oracle database programming session, we'll discuss about with clause. Okay, so let's get into the objective. So after completing this session, we should be able to understand what is the need of with clause and how do we use a with clause to run the queries in an effective manner. Okay, nothing but reusing the existing sub queries so that you know, like you can reduce the code as well as you know the execution becomes faster. We'll just see very simple samples so that we can understand the concept or we can understand the existing query. So this is a definition from Oracle. It's with clause is also known as subquery factoring. So what exactly it will tell you is like, uh, whenever you use with clause, the query which is which you mentioned will, will be mentioning a query name to the query. What are the subquery which we mentioned, right? So here, if you observe carefully, this is our clause with clause and we'll be mentioning a query. And for the query, we'll mention a query name, like for a cursor, we'll mention a cursor name. For the query name, for a query, we'll mention a query name. This query name will contain the set of subquery, okay? And you can also have n number of subqueries, okay? After that, you can mention your main query. That main query uses these particular subqueries or, you know, like uh, the, the with clause queries so that you know like uh, you can reuse them rather than you know repeatedly writing your subqueries repeatedly there okay it's nothing but you know like you can mention you can mention like it's like mentioning the cursor name wherever you want to use it okay so as per the definition here if you observe what exactly it is telling you is reuse this result over and over in the query so we can factor out the subquery that is used more than once and reuse it result resulting in perhaps a better plan it can also make the query overall more readable okay rather than writing the same code multiple times you can simply mention that relevant query name or nothing but i can say table name so that you know like uh, you can reduce the coding as well as understandable also it becomes very good let us see the simple example first so in this simple example what i have done our, what are we trying to do is we're trying to get the department count without using with clause also we can achieve it but our aim is to understand how we can use the with clause okay so the starting keyword is with mention the keyword with followed by mention the query name it's a user defined query name as again is a keyword followed by a query name inside this particular parenthesis okay with department count as mention your query name and then now this this particular query name is nothing but a table name you can consider it as a table name or a view name and then you can join them you can join that particular above query name with the in the below query so now what happened is like our with clause is ending here after with clause is ended once the with clause is ended and you just need to write your own query whichever query which you want to consider write the query and here if you observe i mentioned the department underscore cnt so this department underscore cnt is not the actual table but this is a virtual table or a query name or whatever you call it as this is a table this is a virtual table from the department with the with clause mention that and execute the query and here if you observe this is the result Okay, this is just high level screenshot. It's not the total set of records, but just a uh, high level records. And this department underscore count was getting from the department underscore count view or a table or a subquery. Okay, let us see another example. So in this one, what I've done is, see, using a with clause, you can write n number of subqueries. Using a with clause, you can write n, num n number of queries. Like a department, in this example, we have two queries. One is department underscore CNT is the first one. Other one is a manager dot manager underscore detail as the second one. So here, whenever you have a multiple with clause queries to mention, you have to mention a comma. After that, you mention the query. And once all your particular with clause queries are done, you can write your main query which involves the above queries. It is not that man it is not that you know like if at all. Let us say if you have defined these two these two with queries it is not mandatory it is not mandatory to use those queries in the main query okay either you can skip it or you can use it it depends on your requirement now once once you achieve all this functionality you can simply mention them and execute it so this is how you can this is how you know like you can make use of a with class in these two examples you know like there is no advantage of usage of with class but we just want to see we just want to demonstrate how you can use it for simple queries later on you can write very complex queries according to your requirement okay Thank you.